Get you one glove like Michael Jackson. People of the internet, we are back. This time we are doing uh, hot wings. It is football season. It's time for hot wings. I'm going to do we're going to prepare two versions. One is a Parmesan, garlic Parmesan, and the other is just a standard hot wings kind of sauce. So uh, we're doing this a bit in a fancy way uh, because it is absolutely delicious. So I have the sous vide warming up. It's warming up the water bath to 170 degrees. And I have these chicken wingettes and drumettes. Uh, so I try to get organic if I can. If I can't find them, then the, this is what I get. Uh, no antibiotics ever. So they say. And I'm gonna go ahead and just get these ready for the water bath, get them in the water bath. Then I'll go through all of the spices. I'm gonna start off with the garlic parmesan um, and how to make that, because you have to roast some garlic in the oven for about 30 to 40 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the recipe. While the water bath is going, I'm gonna go ahead and prep the chicken and get it in there. I'm not gonna season it at all because there's enough seasoning in everything that we're using. Here's one batch. And what I'm gonna do is I have a big bag and you can see that I'm gonna spread them out a little bit more when I get ready to seal the bag because I don't want to deform them. I just want to be all crushed up together. I'm going to take my time and lay it out properly. And so here it is. You'll see the original line that I had and you see the liquid that went up to the top while I dried it and then I added this second one here. It looks all good. My water is only at 153 degrees, but it's okay. You can go ahead and drop these in. Um, the thing you want to make sure is that it's just submerged under the water line. On to our garlic. So you need six cloves of garlic. Get get good sized cloves of garlic, all right? Don't get small pieces. I have six here. And all we're gonna do is chop the ends off. We're gonna put them in this foil and then put them on this pan. Put a little bit of olive oil on it and uh, throw it in the oven 30, 40 minutes. Roast it. So the reason I'm cutting the tops off too is I'm gonna get that like kind of papery part of it off. It doesn't matter the harder outer shell, and I've already gotten a lot of the paper off. But the skin of it, you can go ahead and leave it. Uh, when after it's done baking, it will uh, just slide right out. I'm gonna take my garlic cloves in here. It's gonna make a little like bowl with the oil. So make a little like pure aluminum kangaroo, and you add a little aluminum pouch. This is where you put your garlic in. All right, so that goes in there. We're going to drizzle some olive oil up on top. I like to do a little, little bit of a lot of olive oil because it's delicious when it all comes together. So um, half a tablespoon or so, uh, but be good with it. Be nice and generous, so it'll be good to you. That's it. You just put it like this, baking sheet, and we're going to throw it in the oven. Degrees. We set a timer for 30 minutes, but you can do this for 
30 to uh, 40 minutes, usually 400 degrees. You just want it until your garlic is nice and soft, but it's gonna smell amazing and delicious. So that's where we start with the garlic. Now let's get on into the spices. So the spices are, it's pretty easy to put this together because it's always one tablespoon of all of these, two tablespoons of all of these, and just something to put it in and mix it. So what are all of these? Easy, a tablespoon of marjoram, basil leaves, oregano leaves, thyme leaves, and freshly ground black pepper, two tablespoons of crushed red pepper, and salt. Simple, right? So all of that's just gonna go in here. And to make it easy, I have this nice little measuring cup thing in the jigger. And I'm just gonna pour all my stuff in here. Boom. All right, so now that we have this done, we can set it aside. Let's get it. Mm get a part two. So the garlic has been roasting. I'm gonna take it out. It's hot, so be careful. And basically we're gonna take it out, I'm gonna get those garlic cloves all smashed up into a paste. Oh my goodness. It smells so good. Oh, love the way it smells. Turn the oven off. All right, so, so be safe, use gloves. And just unwrap this. Trying to unwrap this with oven mitts on is pretty hilarious. Oh my. Ow. This just smells so good. And it looks so good. Look at that. If you can see how delicious that looks. Oh, but it smells so good. All right, so what I'm gonna do, so I don't burn my fingers get a spoon take one out I have this lid here I'm just gonna set it on that lid just want to get them out of the foil let them cool down a bit There we go. And this has already cooled, it's not too bad. Throw that away. And let me feel how hot that is. Not too hot, good. So see, you can't see here, but the garlic's just gonna come right out. It's super soft. Ooh. It's just a little hot, not too hot. So I'm gonna go ahead and just Manage it with my fingers here. I'm just gonna do this. Now that that's there, I'm gonna put it in my bowl because we're gonna start mixing a lot of ingredients together. So let me get this cleaned up here. So then the next thing we have is a half cup of mayonnaise. I went ahead and measured it out because no one wants to see anybody scooping mayonnaise from a jar and shoving it in a half cup. It just doesn't make for good videos. I might do a whole 
ASMR video of me just getting a jar of mayonnaise and putting it into smaller containers. That would be amazing. My wife is begging me not to do it, which means now I must. Two tablespoons of grated Parmesan cheese. Put that in there. I will also incorporate one tablespoon of our dry seasoning blend. And this is why I say you want to make a lot because this will last you for many batches of wings. Well, I say many, but you never know what many is depending on how many wings you eat. So a tablespoon of that. I'm also going to put in a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. This is my arch nemesis here. And we only have a little left, so maybe I might not be able to get it. How about that? This is just a miracle. Every recipe of some of the ingredients I've had have been just enough. Normally you would use a tablespoon of corn syrup. We don't use corn syrup here, so as a replacement, we have agave nectar. And so I will do a tablespoon of agave nectar. This is our sweetener thickening agent. And then the last thing, well, a couple things, we have a teaspoon of lemon juice that we need to put in here. In here, we have our six garlic cloves, six garlic cloves, half a cup of mayonnaise, two tablespoons of Parmesan cheese, one tablespoon of agave nectar or corn syrup, if that's your preference, a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, one tablespoon of our dry seasoning blend and a teaspoon of lemon juice. So there you have it, it's all in here. What I'm gonna do is just mix all of this up. That's it, it's just our thing. So you can prep this while your wings are cooking. Get it all nice and ready. Next step, throw it in the fridge and you're good to go. And uh, the next thing we're going to do is make our hot sauce for our batch of other, our second batch of wings. And that's not nearly as complicated, I promise you. Not so many steps or anything like that. It's just simple. So uh, let me get everything set up for that. We'll be right back. And we're back. Here's the hot sauce that we're going to make. This is by far the most simple sauce and the easiest sauce. So small pot, one stick of butter, one cup of Frank's Red Hot Original, two tablespoons Worcestershire, one teaspoon garlic powder, granulated garlic powder and one tablespoon of distilled white vinegar. So all we're going to do is take our stick of butter. I've been heating up the pot. It's not a cold pot, it is warm because I've had it on the oven at like number three. Take my stick of butter, I'm just gonna drop it in here. And we're gonna melt this butter down. And uh, I know you can't see quite well into all of that, and that's okay. I'm gonna get my spatula. Again, just melting the butter down. While that's melting down, I'm gonna add one cup of the hot sauce. I'm gonna add two tablespoons Worcestershire sauce. I'm gonna add one tablespoon of distilled white vinegar. Can't stand the way vinegar smells. Blah. One teaspoon of garlic powder, granulated garlic powder. Boom. And all we're gonna do 
Let's just mix it all up. And when the butter's finished melting, and you know it's all good, just make sure it's all incorporated. I'll show you what it looks like here in a second. So the butter is completely melted. Everything is thoroughly incorporated. It looks really good. It smells really good. And we're done. So that's your hot sauce. So be ready when the wings are ready. Um, I'm gonna take them out, pat them dry, put them on the rack. I'm gonna get my blowtorch, which is one of my most favorite things ever that I've ever purchased. I'm gonna torch them. You'll get to see that. Then we're gonna coat our wings. I have some carrots and celery already cut up, ready to go. Some blue cheese uh, dressing and uh, it's gonna be amazing. So anyways, that's how all that's done. Have a glass of wine and I'll see you in a bit. Mm. Our wings have been cooking for the allotted time and two hours is what I did. If they're frozen, do three hours, but fresh you could do really like, they, they're so thin and everything you could do an hour to two hours. Um, they won't overcook even if you leave them for two to three, four hours, if it's fine. It keep, holds them at the right temperature. So some people do them at like 167, 165. Um, I prefer to do it 170 so I know they're cooked all the way through and they are delicious. Um, one thing I did notice as I had checked is one of the bags started floating. So I did put some weights in here and I'll show you what those weights look like. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my lid off. I'm gonna stop to speed. And these are just the weights that you can get for your sous vide that will hold your food down should there be any air in your bags if they're not sealed properly. So just remove those. I'm gonna get some paper towels here. tell you to be careful because they are super tender like this meat will just fall right off the bones so just be careful you're pulling them out so first thing I'm gonna do with these I'm gonna pat these dry because I want to get these loaded up and then I'll do the second bag and get them ready That first batch is ready. I'm gonna clean this up here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and get the second one ready to go. This is ready to go. Let's go outside flamethrow this thing. It's time to flame through our wings and I have my trusty sous vide gun right here. Hook it up to a propane tank. You just turn the knob and fire. trying to do is sear the outside of these. I'm 
trying not trying to cook them just want to get them crispy so you can hear that going now I'm gonna flip them the other side Part's done. Then what I'm gonna do is transfer these over and start to roast or uh, toss them in our sauce. So I'll be right back to get things to toss it in the sauce. I have seared all of them. As you can see, I got two bowls and I have the sauce ready. I've gone ahead and put it in the microwave to uh, warm it up a little bit since I had them in the fridge and I needed to get them nice and warm to get ready to toss. So all I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna pour all the sauce in there because you still want some for dipping. I'm just gonna kinda put what I think should go in there, looking at it, you know, just wanna cover enough of the wings. Get a good covering on those, very good. Let's grab one of these. As you can see. Mm. Oh. Mm. So good. Get your favorite blue cheese or ranch dressing. Get you some celery, carrots, however you want to do this, but let me tell you. Mm, 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 mm. Since uh, they're hot and ready to eat, I'm signing off so that we can have dinner. My wife and I have been eating these wings right after we made them. And one thing that we really love is after that we are done eating, like we're not gonna eat all of these, believe me, we would. But one of our favorite things is we eat some now and then we save, put it in the fridge, wait till later. When you put it in the fridge, it just marinates in all the sauce and everything and it's delicious. And that flavor starts to penetrate deeper inside. Then what we do is uh, when we get them out of the fridge, we heat them up in the air fryer. And when we heat them up in the air fryer, they get even more crispy on the outside. Um, they stay extremely juicy and tender on the inside. And uh, the, and we prefer them the next day after they've been in the sauce and everything like that. So pro tip, if you can wait and you can make these a day before and save it and then throw it in the air fryer and get your warm up your air fryer for five minutes at 400 degrees, just let it run for five minutes, get it nice and warm. Drop these in like for a minute, maybe two in the air fryer just to heat them up, get them out, boom, man, they are even better than this. So pro tip, extra pro tip, it's, this is something my wife discovered that she loves to do. And I agree, they are like a hundred times better. This is delicious, but they're so much better when you do that. So uh, keep an eye out for that. I'm not gonna do a video on that just because these will be gone by the time we even think about it. So like and subscribe.